So yeah, I've been pretty busy. Uh, I've been uh, cleaning up my shop for about the last week. Uh, I'm almost done. I just gotta get rid of some of this garbage on the table and uh, clear up the pegboard a bit because it's just a little bit of everything. Oh, I need to empty the trash can that was filled yesterday and today. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway, I built these uh, shelves yesterday. I got a bunch of these uh, inch and a quarter uh, press board office desks. So I just put up, it's six foot higher right there. So I uh, just put up a couple of two by fours and some more two by fours and yeah. Uh, there are a couple that are five foot and a couple that were four foot. So I cut the legs off since it was the same thickness and glued it to the four footers to make them five feet. This joint probably isn't very strong. One of them is held together with these metal bands. The other one with a couple of pieces of plywood. So this thing probably has, this is probably about 300 pounds. And as you can see, it's bowing quite a bit. So I'm just not too sure how much more weight I want to put here. But uh, anyway, really the goal with this shelf was to get everything up off of the floor. And uh, these drawers were also part of it. So uh, I was able to um, clear out this toolbox a little bit. Uh, this drawer was just packed with tools. And uh, right here I had some more power tools. Huh. So I'll be able to organize this box better now that I have all my electric power tools in these drawers and in this bottom area here. Now I've got my ATV lift there, all my bottle jacks and my uh, floor jacks there, jack stands, GX160, and behind that is a um, one and a half horsepower 110 220 motor. This box is just full of anything electrical. That's the old coil off the body. Fan, I use that every now and then. And this is all metal and hardware. And this is a GT hitch, back hitch plate, and a sleeve hitch uh, for AYP GTs. Then that's just a um, muffler stack. Uh, this is probably going on the 2750 since it doesn't have a muffler. Uh, so yeah, anyway, I uh, got this cleared up. The uh, mule parts are under there. So yeah, I just got to clear up this corner. And uh, all these Kubota parts, I'm pretty sure I'm bringing them back up to the Kubota, putting them in the cab. Uh, we might be getting a drop-in engine for that pretty soon. Hopefully, anyway. That thing... 88 horsepower and four wheel drive, we should be able to pull anything we've got on the ranch with it. Oh yeah, I just cut up a piece of half inch plywood and made a new top for my box, so that doesn't happen again. But uh, anyway, yeah. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot more room in here, I, I like it. I think the next project is going to be pick up these rubber mats, so um, that one, that one, possibly this one, and that one I'm not going to be able to uh, remove because bench is on that, uh, that thing is on that, and this shelf probably weighs a thousand pounds. It's on top of this mat, and this toolbox probably weighs about 800 pounds, and it's on top of that, so I'll just peel them up and take a shovel and a rake and try to level out these floors because that's something we forgot to do when we put in this jerry-rigged shed but anyway yeah my battery's dead so thanks for watching